Do immigrants consume a lot of welfare? The short answer to that question is yes. Here's the best way to think about it. In the United States today, we spend hundreds of billions of dollars on anti-poverty programs. And because immigrants are more likely to be poor compared to natives, immigrants are also more likely to participate in those programs. In fact, 51% of immigrant-headed households use some kind of anti-poverty benefit, whether it be Medicaid, food stamps, housing vouchers, etc. This compares to 30% of native households. And in terms of dollars and cents, immigrants consume about $6,200 worth of welfare per year, compared to $4,400 for natives. Now, importantly, this does not mean that immigrants are lazy. In fact, immigrants have high rates of work. Immigrants consume welfare simply because they live in a society, ours, that redistributes a lot of money to the working poor. Now, why do some people insist that immigrants do not use a lot of welfare? One argument you'll sometimes hear is that we should not count the welfare used by the U.S.-born children of immigrants. That is a seriously mistaken view. Parents have a legal obligation to provide food and medical care and housing to their children. If the taxpayers step in and do that for them, that is a benefit to the parent. It frees up money for other priorities. And if we're talking about immigrants, that could mean remittances sent to the home countries. Now, maybe immigrants will pay us back later if their children grow up and become taxpayers themselves. Well, it's not likely. The most sophisticated estimates suggest that low-skill immigrants will remain a net fiscal burden for decades to come. But let's be honest, nobody can predict the future. We have enough trouble budgeting five years into the future, let alone decades. Why not minimize the long-term risk by reforming our immigration system today?